So we will look into another free RTOS feature called uh, Director Task Notifications, where I can send notification from one task to another task, or even multiple tasks to a single task. So to send a task uh, notification, I use a function called x task notify give, and this parameter will be the handler of the corresponding task where I want to send the notification to. So which is going to be my task to handle in this example because I want to send a notification to task 2 and I want to send the notification every uh, one second so I introduce a delay of one second and in my task 2 I need to wait for the notification um, when you are using this this function here it sends a notification along with a value a 32 bit value and this value by default is zero but um, when I'm using this function x task notify give it increments the value by one and then it sends the notification to task 2 so task 2 it can get the notification and also the, it can read the value of that notification uh, that it received from task 1 so um, I can, to get the notification I use the function called ul task notify take and it has two parameters the first parameter it takes a binary value 0 or 1 if it is 0 it means the notification value that I received from task 1 I'm going to decrement it and if it's true if it's 1 it means that I'm going to reset that value so for now I, I will keep it to 1 which means whatever value I get from the notification I will reset it and instead of using one I can use something called PD true which is equivalent to one if I look into the definition of PD true you can see it's one and for PD false is zero so I can the value as one which means reset the notification value and the second parameter is going to be the blocking time so I want an indefinite blocking time I will use tick time underscore T and uh, I will use port max delay because I want to have an indefinite blocking time this is the maximum time uh, that I can use if you look into the definition of port max delay it's you can see it's a very high value so so I get the notification so this all is a small o and um, this function you will task notify take will also return me a 32 bit value so the value that I get from task one I can also get it out uh, from this function so let me create another integer integer uh, notification value and I'm going to store that value inside my notification value so notification value equals to uh, the value written by this function and if my notification value is greater than zero which means that if I have received a notification then I want to print notification received and I also want to print the notification value now I'm expecting this notification value to be 1 because this function has incremented the value from 0 to 1 and uh, in my task 2 when I'm reading the value it's going to be 1 and uh, and once I use this function it's going to reset the value back to 0 and then when task 1 again sends a notification it will increment it by 1 again so let's run this program and program it let me reset this okay so if I run it it says notification received 1 so that's the value that I expected now now let's look back into this parameter here pd true or pd false which means either i'm going to reset the value or decrement the value by one so if it was pd false it means it meant it would mean that i wanted to decrement the value so if one is reset it means it becomes zero and if one is decremented it again becomes zero so why do we need this parameter what is the importance of this parameter here or, or this option that allows me to reset or decrement the value is um, let's look at another example 
are instead of sending just one notification I'm going to send a burst of four notifications and then I'm going to wait for five seconds now if I run this program I I should be expecting four notifications but if I run it so we said this So it printed notification received four and after five seconds it just prints notification received four why this happens is um, because I've sent four notification so that values incremented four times and when my task to receives that value it prints notification received is four but then it just resetted the value because I set my PD I set my first parameter as PD true so it resets it back to zero but if I have this as PD false and then if I build it and run it Now I can see that it prints notification received four and then three and then two and then one. So because the notification value it has been decremented when I'm using this function you will task notify date and then there's still notification even though I've decremented four uh, down to three there are still three pending notifications and then it prints the third notification and then the second and then the first. So this is the whole point of using this parameter pd false or pd true.